Today is an exciting day. I'm going to Costa Rica. I have a flight in three hours. Just got up. I'm going to go to the gym, shower, meditate, and head to the, head to the airport. Got my stuff all packed. I <laughs> got a little resistance band and roller so I can still be active there. I'm going to learn to surf. Got a backpack with like a fuck ton of books, passport, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I packed is clothes, books, computer headphones, so I can work there still. Um, I got my short form content already edited, so all I have to do is just post it today. And I don't know how long this vlog will be, or I'll, if I'll even get it in on time, because I believe I like don't arrive at my place in Costa Rica till like 1 a.m. It's a long day of traveling. But yeah, super insanely excited for that. Um, like I've been wanting to go to Costa Rica for a long time. And ooh, I've been wanting to go to Costa Rica. Bro, look at my long ass legs. For a long time there like the most biodiverse country in the world. So I'm hyped to see the wildlife there, the birds, the sloths, the, I don't know, do they have sea turtles there? I mean, I'll just assume they do. Um, let's see what else? Toucans, iguanas, um, and it's warm, it's not 20 degrees. Dude, this, this acne is, like, very painful. I'm ready to stop having acne. And I haven't had, like, junk food in a while. It's just been, like, chicken, beef, eggs, fruit, and avocado. I guess avocado is a fruit. I've been on the animal-based diet. The main, the main thing I'm struggling with with that is just not getting enough carbs in. But if you're looking to put on lean muscle mass and shred fat and have like a very clear thinking brain, then hop on the animal based diet, listen, or watch some Paul Saladino and see what he has to say about animal based. He is, Paul Saladino is very extreme but I really like the message that he's putting out. Um, and I really like his content, but he is a little extreme for, for some people. <laughs> but I mean, like, fuck it. I'd, like, I, I would not complain if I was just chilling in Costa Rica with just surfing all day with my dog named Ribeye. <laughs> he has a dog named Ribeye. <laughs> and he just eats natural food. He's like 45 and like significantly better physical shape and mental shape than like any other 45 year old in the world. Yeah, let's see. Today, I'm gonna talk about patience. I think I've already talked about patience recently, but it's, it's extremely important. It's extremely important. Yeah, yeah, I did talk about patience relatively recently. Um, but either way, I'm, I'm gonna talk about like patience and, and not just patience, but also just waiting. So patience, figuring out what to do in the meantime, the highest leverage act, or like, like you're, you put your stocks in the stock market. That doesn't mean you just do nothing to make money. You while your stocks are, are going up, you do other shit to make money. And so that that's me right now, or it was me for a little bit, which was my creator barely drove any traffic and I was just chilling and I had to figure out what else to do. And I was like, this is why you need a mentor. You, you need to get a fucking mentor because Mentors keep you doing from stupid Mentors keep you from doing stupid shit because they've been in business longer than you and they can avoid They can help you avoid the shit that is gonna like 
not be good for you, okay? So I was with my creator and I was thinking about just being like, ah, things aren't working too well. Um, I, I should just go hop and get another creator. Another thing is responsibility. Take responsibility for things that are going well. Like it, if you held that and you're the one uh, who made something succeed, take responsibility for that. Be proud, er, as pride isn't good. Pride is the devil. But be like, even if you're not externally being like, hey, everyone, I did this shit. But like, tell that to yourself because that starts building up confidence for yourself. Um, but shoot, what was I going to say? Okay. Yeah. You need to take responsibility that like, this is something that I fucked up is I was kind of low key blaming it all on my creator. We're like, yeah, he was not barely driving any traffic, but there's still like shit that I could have done. Like there's still warm leads like kind of warm leads I could have DM'd, but I didn't. And then I suffered because of that. But anyways, I was gonna, so like it, part of part of this little like three day dry spell with no sales was my fault because I, I didn't do work that I should have, that um, I was unaware that I should have been doing that. Whereas there, you gotta pay down your ignorance debt, you gotta, you gotta work. You you can either pay down your ignorance debt with that with uh, time or money. Alex Ramosi talks about that all the time. Like there, every year that you spend not knowing how to make a million dollars a year, you you lose a million dollars a year. So, um, there is the patience and the waiting. And now after three days, I made a $300 sale in a single day. And so the point of that is that normally I've noticed this trend throughout my life where I'll be in a bad mood for like a few days or I'll be in a shitty place for a few days or like things will be sucking for a while. And then it's just like inevitable that after things suck, they get better. <laughs> And with my creator, I was thinking of hopping. I, I was thinking of being like, oh, this shit sucks. It doesn't work. And I was blaming it all on him, on my creator and all on his traffic. When in reality, there are things that I could have done to make us more money that I didn't. Um, and I almost hopped to a different creator, but my mentor was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Have a heart to heart with your creator. Talk things out um and and do the fucking work and so i almost hopped to, to another creator that would have reset me like like two to four weeks potentially longer potentially like quite a bit longer actually and and just like put me right back at square one because entrepreneurs hate doing the same boring shit um, and they, they love the new shit. And I'm very glad that I listened to my mentor. I stuck with my creator and I'm doing the boring shit. Like I'm just DMing people, <laughs> DMing weeds that are like barely even warm, but I'm just doing it. Cause like, there's no one else for me to DM. And then boom, I made $300 and it's looking like I might make another $300 either today or tomorrow. So just do the boring shit get a mentor so you know what to do and so you don't make the same mistakes and if you're in a dry spell if you're in a shitty period where you're like this sucks ass <clears throat> that is the most important time that you don't jump out of it you need to keep pushing like there is no way to go around or like jump over you need to go straight through the fucking shit you need to just eat shit and then you'll get through the shit and then you get to the gold and then you you'll you'll reap the rewards of the shit that you ate um and then you'll start eating more shit again and then you'll eat bigger shit and then you'll eat bigger gold or you'll get bigger gold after that 
So yeah, I'm, I am in a bit of a rush though. So I'm gonna go hit a push day and I'll see you guys later. Some little toddler was just like, <laughs> I don't know. She's freaking out and pointing at, or like, like giggling and pointing at me as I was driving out. I just had the most wholesome interaction. She's like, oh my God, your car. <laughs> but anyways, just hit a uh, push day. Going home to quickly shower, get some food and then get on the uh, on the road to then get on the plane to then get on the sky. <clears throat> I believe I'm flying to Texas. Yeah, I think I fly to Texas and then I fly to Costa Rica. Um, got some podcasts downloaded, got three thick ass books in my backpack. I've got actually only one of them's thick. I've got Win Friends and Influence People, which I'm almost done with. I've got um, Four Hour Work Week. Actually, that's pretty thick. Four Hour Work Week is pretty thick. And then I've also got Reality Trans Surfing, which is like super thick. It's like a whole textbook. Um, so I'm really, I'm really excited to read both of those. And I'm also just very excited to be in Costa Rica in general although i'm not gonna relax there <laughs> like I'll, I'll get some relaxing time but i'm still gonna be grinding my ass off i'm gonna get some good b-roll there i'm gonna make some money there and then because of <laughs> like everyone on social media is gonna love that shit when i'm like oh yeah just uh this is a dangerous intersection. Everyone on social media is going to love that shit when I'm posting. I'm just like, oh yeah, woke up in my, <laughs> even though it's my, my mom's paying for the whole trip, but like just woke up in my Airbnb and, and made like thousand dollars.